Hi guys, we've got the most incredibly cute cake to share with you today. It's a kawaii inspired s'mores cake. Kawaii means cute and this guy is absolutely adorable. I had a lot of fun making it. I can't wait to share it with you, so let's get started. Now this cake has lots of layers, but they're very small. So what I did is I went ahead and baked a 10 inch square cake right before I leveled it off to the 20 millimeters that I want for three of our pieces, our um, chocolate and both of our graham crackers. I also did cut um, a four inch round circle, just a cookie cutter and just cut that down right before and that way our little marshmallow will be just a touch taller. So now what we need to do is just level that off a little bit. And now that stayed at more like 40 mils, so that's about an inch and a half or so. Okay, now we're also going to need some five inch square cake plates as well as some four inch rounds. Um, I wasn't able to find any, so I went ahead and I just drew our little cookie cutter onto there and then just chop it and give it a little trim and that will be a perfect size cake plate. So I'm going to attach the cakes to their cake plates just using some of the buttercream. And I'm using the top method um, of adding another cake plate on top just to make sure that it stays nice and square. Um, it is a little bit of overkill, I know, because they're not even an inch high, um, but it's just something that I always do and that way I know that the cakes aren't going to tent out and they're going to be straight up and down. Remember to scrape all the way back to the cake plate at the bottom and then take off the top and you can coat the top in buttercream. Now, if you're following along and you want to use chocolate ganache instead of buttercream, um, you can do all these same steps. It's just that you need to let it set up for about six hours afterwards and then use some jam syrup or some sugar syrup to attach your fondant. Um, both of the recipes for those are on our website. Um, if you're following along with buttercream like me, we can go ahead and cover our cakes straight after this step. So now I'm putting down some corn flour. I'm going to knead and roll out my white fondant for our puffy marshmallow. Just pick it up, place it directly over the cake and then make sure it's attaching using a fondant smoother. Um, this is a really short cake so you only have to go around really gently and you'll find that it attaches without any creases. Super easy. Cut off your excess. Now I'm not going to smooth these cakes too much because I want to keep the puffy look. I don't want to raise a sharp edge on any of these. So I'm just going to use a gentle smoother to make sure that there's no lines and that's it. Now I'm rolling out the chocolate brown. Be careful not to get too much corn flour on the top. Blunt the edge like we always do and roll it up. Now you can use a clean tea towel just to wipe away the excess corn flour because that will stop your fondant from attaching properly. Rolling it over the top and I can tell you this is the easiest square cake to cover um, that I've ever done because all you need to do is secure the top edge so that it doesn't tear, secure the bottom straight away and then you can cut off all of your excess. Just use a smoother to make sure that it's really attaching to that buttercream and give it its final trim, giving a little curve around the corners. Now I'm using the back of a bread knife to make the chocolate impression so it looks like little pieces. You can use a bamboo skewer um, or a boning tool and just remember to do the sides because you will absolutely see those. Now I've covered two of my squares in the graham cracker colour. One of them that's going to be on top, I'm making it look like a graham cracker. So I've got the dividing line that I'm using a boning tool to create. 
and then I'm marking out all of our little holes that you'll see in graham crackers. Um, I started with the corners first, then did in the middle, and then worked my way in. Um, if you want it to be super perfect, you could measure these all out with a tape measure, um, but I just freehanded this because I think it turns out pretty cute anyway. So now I'm cutting out some little circles for the face. I've got some large black eyes, then some little number five piping tip circles in white, and I'm using another piping tip, this time a number 12, to make some rosy cheeks for it. While I'm there, I'm gonna roll a little black sausage and turn it into a cute smile for our small. And lastly, I'm just gonna attach them all using some sugar glue to make its cute face. And now I'm gonna stack all of my cakes together. Um, these are really short, so you only need to make some very, very small uh, wooden dowels for them. Just measuring out the heights on all of these, taking a cutter and trimming them to size. And now just using some royal icing, I'm gonna put them all together. Now if you want to see stacking in more detail, we have a how to stack a two-tier tutorial um, and you can also find some more information in our Wedding Cake Foundations class. And there you go guys, our kawaii style s'mores cake is complete. He turned out so adorable. Now if there's something else that you would love to see us make in this cute style, please leave some comments below. We love getting your ideas and feedback. 